Costa Living in Spain update for 2015. Um, we're now heading into October, so we've been here roughly a year so far. So what can I say? Cost of living initially is quite expensive um, because you move into a new house and although they've got, I mean this one's obviously a holiday let that we've moved into, but you go there and they have a microwave but no oven. Well, we uh, we cook, um, so we had to buy an oven, um, extra plates, you know, the, the, the creature comforts, desks, boxes to store your stuff in etc because you're not on a holiday let you don't come with one suitcase um, you're coming with all your belongings so your initial two three months I'd expect your cost to be quite high um, so just factor that in as an extra cost I would put maybe two to three thousand euros aside for that because um, you may not spend all of it but if you don't have it you're going to notice that you have to live without a few things for example, we bought an electric fan because um, they run a lot cheaper than the air conditioning but also these aircon units are on the blink. The ones above us actually flooded this apartment um, the, from a neighbour. They just I'll cover that in the next video anyway. So what we've got is the first three months you're going to spend at least €3,000 on top of everything else. Now the, the other cost you've got is your electric and your water. We're finding the water's coming in at about 130 euros every, I think it's every two, two, three months. Uh, electric is around 130 a month. Because uh, we have a hot water boiler here. Um, it's, there's no gas in the building. Um, so that, that's 130. Bear in mind, we're a family of four. Um, with kids that shower two, three times a day. Um, sometimes more, depending on what they've been up to. So we do use a lot of water. We do use a fair bit of heated water. Um, so as such, it costs money. So I budget your costs around that as well. But also, if you move into the bigger cities, I believe the costs are higher as well because we're quite rural. So it adjusts for the market, you know, because the people, the salaries around here aren't going to be on par with Madrid and Barcelona. So you can't say, well, we're going to charge this because nobody will pay it. Um, the next thing is your food costs. We're we're somewhere between I'd say between forty and hundred euros a week. Um, we could actually eat cheaper, but we generally like food. Um, we eat, um, a lot of shellfish, for example, because we like it. It's not cheap food to eat, but it's what we like. So we're not skimping. It's not as if we're on baked beans and sardines well sardines are quite expensive I assume these days but we're not on tin food um, pretty much everything we have is fresh uh, we actually get our bread from the baker um, it's made that day it's normally quite warm when we pick it up that's how fresh it is we're not buying a lot of products from Aldi, Lidl or other supermarkets we've generally uh, got most of what we want in this area we will do a monthly shop though uh, for the supermarket purely for all your cleaning products and all that sort of stuff which normally comes in at about 100 euros which is split across so it's about 30 euros a week for that one as well so bearing in mind yeah the whole budget is about 400 euros a month um, maximum the other side of this being you've got your electric you've got water your food um, you will need medical insurance now although you're a, a tourist um, your EHIC card is why you're on holiday but if you become a resident that's now scrapped thanks to the UK um, and all that tax we pay into the system to be robbed blind um, you're no longer allowed to have that as your medical insurance because before it was across the whole of Europe and now um, it's not really annoying because the fact is I paid into the system wouldn't mind if they give us a rebate or just give it to Spain all the money I paid in I'd rather they just gave it away to Spain um, it really annoys me because it's something I paid into the system and they, they wonder why people have no interest in pensions and stuff these days because our government's terrible um, moving away from that so medical insurance about 30 euros a month per person 
so be aware of that. That's uh, another hidden cost. Uh, but if you go self-employed, pay your taxes as a self-employed person, you and your family are all covered under your self-employment. So that gets rid of all that headache of the insurance. But self-employment is a sliding scale that goes up. It starts off, I think, 60 euros and goes up to something like 200 and something a month um, for being self-employed. But being self-employed also makes it easier to move to Spain because as long as you're showing some sort of income, you're paying tax, etc., it's much easier than going, I've got 2,000 euros a month coming in, which is something they're starting to look at in Alicante, um, which is quite high considering the local economy get 2,000 euros per person a month income. Uh, sorry, for a person to earn 2,000 a month income is not easy. Um, there's not a lot of work around for that sort of stuff and obviously a lot of it's seasonal. But don't let that put you off, there's always ways around it. And the rent. Rent's cheap in Spain. Um, we've got two bed next to the beach, costing us 300 euros a month. Um, could we get something better and bigger? The answer is yes. Going to Torbea, they've got bigger places for less money. They've got bigger places for more money. But the fact is, we like La Mata. La Mata is a, like a little village place. Although it's a um, tourist location, um, it maintains all the people that have been here since time began. I mean, most of the shop owners are um, almost verified antiques. As such, there's a community spirit. Everybody's friendly, um, and that's why I like it here. So you've got those costs. Vehicle costs. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than UK. Um, buying a car is expensive. Changing your plates can be expensive. Uh, to the point, the cost of changing your plates may be cheaper to buy another car. Um, it's something I'm looking at at the moment because the car I've got here, um, I want to point out, has been in and out of Spain because you have to take it out within six months and then bring it back. You can't just leave it here for a year or whatever. You're not allowed. But it's been over. It's been in France. It's been to other places, so that doesn't really apply. But the insurance is a bit cheaper. Buying cars, they're expensive. Uh, even old bangers are expensive. Uh, to the point, I would like actually look at a new car here purely because it seems to work out cheaper than some of the old ones. Um, I know my mate Steve's bought a brand. He bought a brand new Fiesta out here because he can sell it for nearly what he paid for it. Um, I don't know what goes on with that. So that's your main costs. Um, processing your paperwork isn't expensive, you do it yourself. So I won't really talk about 20 euros here for uh, submitting for your um, EX18, which is your paperwork for becoming a resident, etc. because it's so minimal. But that's pretty much all your costs. You've got your food, you've got your electric, you've got your water, you've got your rent. Um, You've got your medical medical insurance. Schooling um, is probably the last one, which is the one that could be a bit of a killer. Schooling, I have no idea what it costs most of the time. Um, we got a letter this week, uh, last week, for example. It said school meals. You can pay ten euros a week or twenty euros a month, and I'm like, well, hang on, what's this actually mean? But what I think they actually meant was if you if you're working during the day you can bring your kids in early and they have breakfast for 10 euros a month or the 20 a month I'm uh, 10 euros a week or 20 a month or the other way around I'm not sure which because it doesn't actually say uh, but then you've got your afternoon meals which are the other bit of the bill but you don't have to pay both of them um, and you don't have to have either of them because you can actually pick your kids up from school uh, at the lunch break the only thing is if you're working it's in the middle of the day um, and then they go back for an hour and a bit which seems completely bizarre to me but hey ho so yeah you got that that bill then there was like 80 euros for books for Ubi he's in the infants so that 80 euros covers the year which covers all these books and everything for the year and um, A4 bits of paper with tasks to do Zoe's got I think 35 euros for her activities and I'm still waiting I'm expecting to hear more bills but from what I've heard from other expats I budget 300 euros per child per year 
because um, that seems about what others are paying. Uh, you know, because like I said, you get this bill, you get that bill, we'll get this bill. And like the bus, if you if you're in La Mata and you're at the same school as us, the bus is free. If you're not, you have to pay for the bus. How much is the bus? Um, I think that's seventy euros a month as well, or something crazy. It's either thirty or seventy. But the, the the point is, there's all these little hidden costs everywhere. So if you budget three hundred a year per child, that will cover it. So what's the what's the real cost of living in Spain? For hours, you got four hundred. Four hundred for your food. Call it a hundred and sixty for your electric and water. So that's five sixty. Um, insurance another 120 so that's fine six six eighty um, rent takes that up to nine nine hundred and twenty then the school I'd budget a hundred a month uh, so you're talking about one thousand a month um, and that's for a family of four where we are um, I might have forgotten some little bits of cost but I budget 1200 euros and because look for example the car although we don't use it all the time the school runs at the moment because it's the first month uh, we're using about 20 euros a, a week uh, because we have double school runs because one kid finishes at one one finishes at three so we have to go back forward back forward so that's a pain could we use a school bus the answer is yes but the fact is, the school bus have to go and stand there for half an hour when the school's only 10 minutes from the house. I'm quicker going to the school and coming back. Could I cycle? Yes, I could. So I would say 1,200 euros would be enough for a family of four as the basics, as the minimum. Um, if you want to start going out for the night, etc., that obviously goes out depending on what your personal preferences are. If you like to go out for a beer uh, or a Sunday lunch every Friday. Um, eating out can be I would say horrendously expensive but it can be expensive when I compare it to home cooked you know um, 10 euros a meal doesn't sound a lot but when I when I look at okay so we spent 20 euros uh, for me in April to go out for an afternoon meal I could actually feed the family for half a week for the same 20 euros and that's that's you know, it's nice to go out, but bear in mind how much money it really costs. Um, because this is all this minimum wage stuff. I'm not getting into politics, but the the fact is, eating out can be quite expensive. Um, at the same time, you could go to an all-you-can-eat buffet for seven, ten euros, and eat all your meals for the day in one go. <laughs> but anyway, so far I'm I'm fine about twelve hundred euros a month. 3,000 euros up front for your initial costs, your initial costs being your furniture, being your internet, being your telephone, being uh, electric fans and other bits and pieces that you want. Um, and that's pretty much it. So 1,200 euros is enough to get you going. All right, thanks for watching.